Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm True American Patriot and in this video we'll be discussing how Donald Trump is surging in the key state of Georgia. Before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel and comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see me do next. So currently Donald Trump has a 4.4% lead based off 38 polls. Donald Trump has 48.8% of the vote. President Biden has 44.4% of the vote. And Donald Trump has been surging over the past couple months. And this is a state that Donald Trump lost back in 2020 by 0.3%, which is equivalent to around 10,500 to 11,000 votes. And the key reason why he lost the key state of Georgia is because of the Atlanta metropolitan area. And it shifted so much to the Democrats and Joe Biden back in 2020 that it made the state really hard for Donald Trump to win. And Donald Trump has been doing very well with black voters in the current polls. Back in 2020, Donald Trump was sitting around 10% with African-American voters. And in today's polls, Donald Trump is at 22%. And Joe Biden has been, is down 20% from where he was back in 2020. So definitely it's going to be very interesting to see how Donald Trump does in, this, in the state of Georgia. And it's really important that Donald Trump stops the shift in the Atlanta metropolitan area. He has to gain votes in Atlanta for him to win. He's kind of maxed out in these key counties, in these rural American suburban counties. And Donald Trump's going to have to do very well in Cherokee County and Forest County and back up in almost everywhere in the state when all these Swing states, every county matters. Every Democratic county ma matters. And with Donald Trump, I'm expecting him to do very well. And I think he has to fit Washington County. That's a must for him to win. Must also fit Baldwin County. Must fit Randolph County, Terrell County, and Sumter County. If he doesn't fit those key counties, even though they're relatively small, it's going to show that President Biden's going to win in Georgia in 2024 because we're expecting, I'm, I'm still expecting Atlanta to shift far more to, towards the Democratic Party. And that those, Donald Trump just has to max out turnout. He's got to do better in Fulton County, DeKalb, all these places. And in current polling, we're seeing that Donald Trump is up in every single poll. In the latest poll we got, Quinnipiac University, Donald Trump leads by five points. Donald Trump has 49% of the vote. President Biden has 44. Palm Group Citizens Poll, Donald Trump is up by two, 51% to Biden's 49. More and I have polls like Bloomberg Morning Council Poll, Trump's up by three, 47% to 44. And what really shocks me is this New York Times Siena Poll. Donald Trump is up 10%. He's up 10 points in the state of Georgia. With 49% to Joe Biden's 39. And Donald Trump, if he's going to win by 10, he's got to make, he's, he's got to shift at the Atlanta metropolitan area to the right. He's never going to win any of these key counties. But he's got to shift them, how, how President Biden shifted them. DeKalb, Fulton County and DeKalb County shifted 12 points towards the Democrats. If Donald Trump's going to want to get back to his 2016 and Republicans and that 10-point margin that the New York Times Siena poll is indicating, he's going to have to shift DeKalb and Douglas 12 points. He's got to reverse everything that Biden did in 2020 for him to do well. And on the Senate level as well, and the less competitive one, where Raphael Warnock won by two percentage points. We see but we see that he did even better. In Terrell County, it was safe. It was nightly on the number on in the present side. Randolph was nightly. Now it's safe. That's just because um Laffer was a worse candidate, but still. And Perdue versus Ossoff. 
this was one of this is a super close Senate race. But still, Republicans did poorly. And if Donald Trump wants to win, he's gotta do better in the Atlanta Patri Atlanta Metropolitan area. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Please go subscribe to the channel and comment down below on what other videos you'd like to see we do next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.